Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna go over derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions. We're gonna go over the basic rules and then gonna work on a couple of examples to use those rules, okay? So a few examples we're gonna solve. Let's go over the rules first of all. So the derivative of e to the x is basically just e to the x times the derivative of this x which is dx over dx. So which gives me 1 so that's why we just uh, didn't write it over there just wrote 1 and same thing here derivative of a to the x so remember there is no e anymore so this is a any other number let's say 2 3 5 sine whatever it is not e then the answer is just write down your function into log with base e of that number whatever is here instead of a into derivative of this uh, power over here so in our case it's dx over dx gives us one and then let's move to the logarithmics logarithms okay so derivative of log with the base e is just one over that function so one over x if it is x and again into derivative of this x over here which gives us one in this case because dx over dx is one and the derivative of log with base other than e any other number let's say a then it is 1 over x into log with base e of a or log natural a into derivative of this part over here so we're gonna solve these examples and we'll see how this works okay so let's go over our first example which is uh, y is equal to square root of e to the power square root x okay so looks a little complicated but we're gonna rewrite it so e raised to power square root of x and we can write square root o square root as 1 over 2 okay let's find the derivative now so dy over dx so this is basically looks like our first example the first rule over here okay so what we're gonna do so we're gonna keep the function as it is so we're gonna use kind of a chain rule here too so derivative of outer function which gives me one half into a raised to power x and uh, one half minus one gives me one half into d over dx of e raised to power x so that's where we're gonna use our exponent rule okay and this over here this over here gives me 1 over 2 uh, and I'm gonna bring this to the denominator so square root of e raised to power square root of x and times derivative of this whole thing remember the rule write the exponent into derivative of the function so it will be e raised to power square root of x into d over dx of square root of x okay which is basically uh, 1 over 2 root e raised to power root x e root x d over dx of x raised to power 1 over 2 so just gonna use the power rule there so dy over dx is equal to uh, 1 over uh, 1 over 2 e raised to power root x into e raised to power root x into derivative of this function is basically one half and x raised to power negative one half and when we simplify these two this gives me uh, this two multiply by this two so we got one over uh, four one over four and this can be written as root x and i'm gonna i'm gonna take this part to the numerator so can be written as e raised to power root x raised to power negative one half sorry negative one half into e raised to power root x so this and this i'm trying to combine them and this two multiply by this two gives me four and this can be written as 1 over root x 
okay so our final answer is going to be 1 over 4 root x and when we solve them this gives me uh, basically e raised to power root x 1 half which can be rewritten as root of e raised to power root x over 4 square root of x so this is our dy over dx for this function over here okay all right some adjustment just to make it look nicer okay let's do a couple more examples see what we got there so next function is y is equal to log of a log x so let's go back to the rule again the derivative of log x is basically 1 over x if it is log of a log x it's going to 1 over log x into derivative of log x so i'm gonna go over that so dy over dx is basically uh, derivative of this function which is 1 over log of x into derivative of this inner function which is log x okay like in our rule that was just x that's why we got dx over dx just one okay so here uh, the derivative of log x here gives me 1 over x so log x into 1 over x so that is the derivative of this given function it can be written as 1 over x log x all right let's do one more so this is the exponent one but with not e raised to power is something else like in our rule it's a so we're going to use it as a, a uh, like this one a raised to power something okay so let's do that one so dy over dx okay according to the rule i'm gonna write it as it is okay and then we're gonna write log e of a into derivative of this power which is d over dx of sin x okay, so dy over dx is equal to a raised to power sin x log natural you can say into derivative of sin x is cosine x so that's our answer all right let's do one more it's similar to this one instead of a now we got 5 over here okay so what we'll get here so dy over dx so as a as you know in the rule just write this function just as it is x square into log e of this number which is 5 into derivative of the power which is 2 minus x square so 5 raised to power 2 minus x square into log e into 5 and derivative of 2 is 0 and derivative of negative x square is 2x so simplifying it gives me negative 2x 5 raised to power 2 minus x square into log of e5 all right so let's do a few more so next one is again logarithmic but not with the base e so the base is 3 here now let me go back to the formula so that example is using this formula which tells me 1 over x log of e a into the derivative of this x so in in our case this x is something else there so instead of x we got 5x square plus 1 okay so let's do this one so uh, dy over dx is equal to going to be 1 over this x instead of x we got 5x square plus 1 okay and in the denominator then we got log with the base e of this number which is 3 into d over dx of this function in our rule it was just x and here we need to find the derivative of this number okay so dy over dx is going to be 1 over 5x square plus 1 into 
log e 3 and derivative of 5x square is just 10x 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 minus 1 is 1 and the derivative of 1 is 0 so we got dy over dx equal to 10x over 5x square plus 1 into log of e3 so that's the answer for that function let's do a couple more or oh, maybe i think only one left so let's work on this example over here so same thing dy over dx it's going to be 1 over this thing so 1 over 3 over x plus 2 cosine x into log with base e of this number into derivative of whatever there is in the parentheses so 3 over x plus 2 cos x so dy over dx is going to be 1 over 3 over x plus 2 cos x log e5 and this can be written as this can be written as 3x raised to power negative 1 so the derivative of this is 3 comes out and x raised to power negative 2 okay and we got uh, derivative of this function gives me 2 negative sine x okay so what we got over there 1 over 3 over x plus 2 cos x log e5 into uh, 3 this can be written as 1 3 over root x minus 2 sine x okay so that that part is in the uh, numerator and this part is in the denominator so that's the derivative for this given function so 1 over 3 over x plus 2x 2 cos x log e with 5 into 3 over root x minus 2 sine x all right so very simple to use just practice couple of examples you guys will be good to go thanks for watching the video i'll make more videos on this derivative that's where we'll solve a couple of more examples but that'll be coming soon so please please share and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any other video we are posting on this channel thanks for watching the channel guys have a good day bye bye